Hi everyone and welcome back. So I am covering this last example uh, for understanding the basic concepts of the Swell.js. After that we are going to cover all about advanced things in Swell.js. And this basic ex example which is like simple bookstore you can add and purchase. That example is a simple quick recap that will talk about component communication, how we are passing the props, how we are handling the DOM events, component events, how we are updating the properties which are reactive and how the component is updating the values on the UI. So this is my app component. Here this is how we are importing, this is how you are declaring the variables and this is how you are defining the DOM events. These can be a component events and the DOM events like add book. So we have some bookstore you can say the empty array and we have a simple form and that form component we are rendering here. This is a form component and here we are doing two variable binding of uh, input values. So on the, here we are doing the bind and here we are writing a DOM event set title. It can be also simple bind value but I wanted to show the example okay how you can do, do write an event on input or how you can do a bind. These are the two options either you can choose this one or that one here you need to define set title here you don't need to define anything it is automatically automatically binding the pages value to this text field same as description and then we have button so when you do one click we are doing add book and add book is simply doing push on to the books and assigning it back to here because it's if you just simply do books.concat and books.push reactivity will not trigger we have to reassign these are the reactive assignments so we have to assign books.concat and the new books and you can also take care of the immutability uh, here we have our initial books and we are doing concat and assigning it back to the books so you update the books and we are doing a for each i mean it's not for each but it's like each execution each block here if books length is greater than zero then if it is equal to zero then we will ask user to add a book otherwise so we are doing each and we are rendering so it's like okay running a map onto an array and rendering the child component similarly we are rendering book uh, book component n number of times based on the length of books array and here we are passing all these props book title book pages book description and then we are handling the component event which is coming from the book component so in all the framework this concept is kind of similar you are passing the props you are handling the the callback event and here we are handling the component event so the book component is here we are receiving the props through these variables and then on the click of this button what we are doing we are emitting the event we are uh, dispatching the event to the parent component so on click purchase books and here we are dispatching it we got the create event dispatcher so here syntax is more clear we are dispatching the by is the event name with the book title is the string or the object we are passing now we go to the parent component and we just need to write on event name component event name which you are dispatching and once this dispatched event arrived to the parent component i'm going to call purchase book method which is doing nothing but okay i have another array of purchased books and i will just concat or add these books to there first i will what i will do is i will get the selected title and then i will try to concat the new book to the purchased books by finding it because i don't know which book i am looking into so first of all these dom events we can extract the value using event dot details so detail this is a predefined thing event dot detail will give you whatever the object or the string or the boolean you are passing from the child component once i have it i will try to do books dot find either it will be null or an array we are spreading it and then we are concating that to an existing array and then we are just looping on to these purchases here again we have another component and we are passing just uh, books props that is an array and this purchase is receiving that uh, props and iterating using each block for each each books of book and we are just printing the title and pages 
it's just a simple example but through this example we can understand lot of different concepts okay how we are sending the component event how we are handling the dom event like form submission event or button click event like on click this is the dom event on by this is a component event and this is how we are passing the props and this is how a component will receive the props by declaring the variables with export and then how a child component can dispatch we will use create event dispatcher and we will do a dispatch i think when it comes to syntax i think swelt js is providing really clean syntax for component communication you don't need to do you don't need to write lot of code even in the react you need to handle the the props call back and all those things here it is just very simple book title i will i am receiving and now if i want to dispatch a event simply dispatch and event name and the title okay so this this is a quick recap of this example is just a quick recap of whatever we have discussed till now let's uh, connect in the next video and we are going to talk about some more advanced concepts